There are people running around saying that mouthwash will kill COVID-19. Have you guys heard about this? I certainly have. By the way, it's not a new thing. This was running around some months ago. It is back again lately. But you might be wondering why people are saying this. And perhaps some of you are wondering if it's true or not. I'm going to explain both and give you the answers right now. I'm Dr. Jen Cardle. I'm a practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Okay, let's first start with the data. Okay, let me let me tell you something that actually might surprise you. There are some studies that, that exist out there testing mouthwash on uh, coronavirus. Some of these studies are actually testing mouthwash on coronaviruses that are not the SARS-CoV-2 virus, that virus that causes COVID-19. There are some studies that are testing mouthwash on the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Now, some of these studies are, are done in the lab. Some of them are done in people. Believe it or not, uh, many of these studies suggest that mouthwash can actually prevent the SARS-CoV-2 virus from replicating. That is right. What that means is it keeps it from sort of uh, uh, spreading. It, it reduces viral load. However, and, and I know you guys are like, well, that's a good idea. That's a good thing. Hey, I'm with you. Okay. But <laughs> when we use mouthwash, where do we use it? We use it in our mouth, right? We don't use it in our nasal cavity and our sinuses and other places where actually COVID, uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus gets in as well. Uh, it's great that it potentially could kill COVID-19 in the mouth. But by the way, I don't know how well we've established that because some of these studies are lab studies not done in real life. And the ones done in real life may not be the best studies. Uh, and remember, that's not the only way that you get COVID-19 or the SARS-CoV-2 virus because you also get it in your nose. So let's say there was a magical way that mouthwash killed off all the COVID-19 in your mouth, uh, it still leaves you vulnerable for getting it, uh, rather SARS-CoV-2 virus, um, because uh, it, it also gets in, in the nose. Remember, that's a big, big source of it, right? And once again, I have to repeat that a lot of the studies that I have seen are either lab studies, which means they do not directly apply to real life. Uh, they are small studies. They are preliminary studies. Um, if they were done in people, they may not be the best studies. You know, look, the long and the short of it is there's not enough evidence to say fully that uh, mouthwash will prevent and uh, treat your COVID-19. The treat I just added in because, by the way, Listerine is on it. Yes, they were like, look, hunties, let me tell you something. Listerine says this. They have this on, apparently on their website. They say Listerine is not intended to prevent or treat COVID-19. So they want you to know that. And, and just keep in mind, too, that because mouthwash has been seen to kill off some of the virus, either in a lab or... Or, or maybe in a few people here, there does not mean that that can be extrapolated to say the whole world. Um, once again, it's leaving out the nose, but but that's not say a big picture concept. That's a small concept that certainly needs to be built on. And it's not entirely surprising to me, maybe because I think about mouthwash. They're designed to sort of kill germs, right? That's what they're supposed to do. I think it's fantastic. I think it's great. Um, and I know dentists have been looking at this as a way to sort of reduce viral load of COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 virus in the mouths of patients are looking at right to keep it safer for them so it makes perfect sense uh, but guys we cannot go and take these studies these small studies that some are done in the lab some are maybe done in a few people whatever and say aha this is the solution because clearly it is not if that were the case we would have we would have nipped this COVID-19 pandemic in the bud we just would have used mouthwash but no it's not that simple nor that easy but it's good information to start um, start on and, and hopefully people will do more research I mean gosh wouldn't that be great if that that's all it took, okay? Um, the other thing I would say, though, remember, this is mouthwash. Mouthwash is good for you, meaning I'm not to drink or anything, but to clean uh, your mouth, get some of the germs out, germs in general, to uh, give you fresh breath. So is there any harm in gargling with mouthwash? I, I'm not a dentist, but I have a feeling that many dentists would probably say, hey, this is a good thing. Keep this up. Uh, so anyway, guys, um, do not believe the claims that mouthwash uh, is the savior for preventing or treating COVID-19. That is not the case. That has not been established. Um, and there are many reasons why that uh, is not true um, at this point in time. But there are some studies and uh, we'll have to see where they end up, if they end up anywhere at all. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert. Uh, for those of you on Facebook, if you have not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. Thank you so much for sending stars, guys. I will respond to you personally. For those of you on, on YouTube, hello, um, uh, please consider subscribing and uh, following my channel as well, clicking the little bell uh, to get updates. And for both uh, Facebook and YouTube, by the way, I do have subscription groups where you get access to exclusive content. Guys, love you. I'll see you soon.